Okay, here's something I've been wanting to try for a long time. Um, I'm calling this the backwards lid motor. And uh, I don't know why I wanted to try this, but uh, the idea was to put the, the driver on the rotor and use the lids to drive that. <laughs> and this is just a setup, a crude setup, to see if I could make something like that work. And it did work. Now, the idea refined would be to put the coils all the way around that disc and then have the circuit uh, in the power source on the hub or with brushes have the power source off the hub and you have basically a real uh, like a traditional electric motor but what this is I'll stop it here is you've got my little driver unit and a power source just stuck on a CD and that's a fidget spinner under there uh, just a fidget spinner, and I took the um, one of the, the plastic pieces off of it, and then uh, you've got a platform that, as it goes by the uh, the magnet, it fires the uh, fires the motor, and it just gets going faster and faster with inertia. It's very very inefficient, but it's different, and it's something that I I've, I've wanted to try for a long time is the backwards lid motor where the lids are stationary and they drive the driver <laughs> anyway it's just something uh, fun I wanted to try like I say the idea would to be put uh, coils around the disc um, in such a way that probably four would be the way to go on this thing here and then put the circuit board uh, in the middle of the disc with probably a supercapacitor filled up and then um, drive that but uh, it's kind of an interesting little idea a concept of uh, going um, backwards with the whole thing and uh, that's uh, just something I, I wanted to try and it, it did work it's a little different a little interesting thanks for watching